and so it is here, the Hell Kitty. I cannot wait to get started to work on this car. shade back nicely. I was just using my little air file right here, regular old DA sander right here, and then I was using this block, and then I just have these little stick-on pads. This is 120. So what I want to do next is I want to spot prime these areas, so that way tomorrow I can sand down the primer, make sure that all looks good, make sure everything looks good before the final primer, and we'll get more into that when we actually get there. looking really good. This color came out sick. So we want to turn our attention and focus on this hood. I don't know how I'm going to make this happen, but by the end of this video, it's going to be on there. Getting close, getting close to cutting times. take your time from the very beginning and you halfway know what you're doing, it'll turn out. Man, I'm speechless about how this looks. Woo! You got something here that's super cool yeah. that I want to be a part of, so yeah, I man. appreciate the invite, man. Yeah. How you doing here? Man, dude, I'm good. I, I think we're ready to go. This I mean, looks good, man. Yeah. This looks cool. Alright, so this is that white base coat. It's a base coat or it's a sealer, right? You'd say either or, it's, it's pretty much sealer, the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but it's a white base foundation for that tangelo orange to go on top of. So the way that we ended up working it out is I went ahead and I did the first coat and he did the second coat. So the next thing, this is the cool part. This is the fun part. We want to get into this orange.
so we have concluded the base coat. There's not gonna be any more base coat on there. We ended up doing three and a half coats. This is the moment of truth. This is where it all comes down to, and that's it, right? Clear coat time. Well, we got a different gun, though, so we're gonna see yeah, what it does, yeah, yeah. you know? We're gonna see how that new gun goes. And man, I've been looking forward to this. The next thing that I want to do, I feel like it's kind of weird how the orange just boom ends off right here. So I actually have over here, right by Pepto, I have this little rubber trim that I'm going to go ahead and place around the entire edge. I think that trim just really pulls it all together. So I got the trim here and I also got the trim there. 